Hello, I'm Jagmohan Chavla, and let's talk about release and deployment planning. So the first thing we need for a release and deployment plan is a system. So this is also called a tenant, and the tenant is in a particular role. So as an example, quality assurance. But there is definitely some situations in which you can have more than one tenants in a given system role. So you can have multiple quality tenants. And uh, in this video and also in our UIs, we'll use the terms tenant and system interchangeably. So from now on, I'll call them systems. So you have two quality systems, and but that's kind of not the full story, right? So the systems work in a context and they work in, in a typical chain and that's how it typically looks like. You can have multiple roles such as development, production, preview, and for each role, you may assign one or more systems. And what SAP Cloud LM has enabled you is to give a human readable title and description. So you depict the purpose. But the, the main point to note is this should be restricted only to one product line for one system chain. And this is called a system group. Okay, so I'll repeat. One system group is considered a group of systems belonging to one particular product line for a purpose, okay? And then what is the purpose? The purpose is typically a deployment or some changes and the changes happen with a certain timeline. And the timelines are called releases and the release has something which is a start and end date. You can have one releases or you can have also multiple releases, but you work in a joint context because, you know, without the time information, how do you intend to use the landscape is also not that clear. As an example, if there is a upgrade event, then you want to know the timing of that as well as you want to know which exact system is impacted. The same is if you are doing a multi-country rollout on a particular landscape, then you want to model the start and end dates for that particular rollout via this release. So this is where the release information and the landscape information should actually work hand in hand. And that jointly is called a deployment plan. Okay. Now let's see how do we use a deployment plan in a project. So I have my deployment plan and then I assign it to a project. And what happens is then the landscape which is assigned to the deployment plan also becomes available for the project. Now, in this example, I have just shown one system group in the deployment plan, but it may not be true always. I mean, if there are multiple system groups, then all of them will be available to the project. But that's how the project knows its landscape via the deployment plan assignment. Also, a very important point to note is in a project context, this is called deployment landscape. And this will show in the UI shortly. From a relationship perspective, one project can have multiple system groups. As I mentioned, if the deployment plan has multiple system groups and you assign a deployment plan to a project, then you'll obviously have more than one system group for the project. But the same system group can be assigned to multiple projects, which is very true because you know the landscape can be shared between let's say a main line and a project line or you can have complex scenarios in a multi-country rollout you can have maybe one project per rollout but sharing the same landscape so how you can do that is you can put the system group in one deployment plan and you can assign the same deployment plan to multiple projects and let's see what is the how the release is handled so one project can have multiple releases. Again, for the same project, as an example, you want to do your multi-country rollout in the same project, and you want to depict each rollout via this release timeline. Then obviously the same project will be contributing to multiple releases at the same time, but it can also work the other way around. So that means the same release can be assigned to multiple projects. And that also is very true and actually, that helps align a global timeline to local timelines so that people can align on same end dates and deployment events. So without making it too theoretical, let's go to the system. 
So I'm logged on to the tenant and the first thing that you want to know is where do you set all these system groups and deployment plans. So you have to click on the style projects and setup. This is a dual purpose style because you can access the information for projects as well as access the information for setup. So in this case, our focus is the system group. So I have already prepared some test data. So I have a system group for Esfahana Cloud and you can see I have mapped multiple systems and different system roles. I can go into the edit mode and I can change the attributes like description or I can even add some more systems. And how I get this list? So this is the list which is maintained in landscape management service and you need to follow the setup and admin guide to make sure you have this data coming into this list. Okay, so we, let's assign something and I can save it. Now let's go and see how this system group belongs to a deployment plan. So now I'm in the deployment plan UI and as I mentioned earlier, the deployment plan can have multiple releases and also multiple system groups. And then the last stage is assigning this deployment plan to a project. So let's do that. So now in my project and I want to assign a deployment plan. To do that, I need to go to the tab deployment landscape. And here the deployment plan is already assigned, but it's very simple that you can go into the edit mode, assign a deployment plan. And as soon as you do that, you get the system groups belonging to that plan. That's all for this video. Hope you found this useful. Please feel free to leave a comment and stay tuned for more such videos. Have a great day.